Hello, I decided that I'm going to make a revised Rubik's Cube tutorial, just how to solve it in general. Because I made another video that's similar to this one that's called How to Solve the Rubik's Cube Part 1. And basically, I don't like that tutorial. It doesn't really describe as much as I wanted to. And also, my cube was terrible. I have a better one now. So, okay, so when you're solving the Rubik's Cube, the first step is to... Uh, get the cross and in my first tutorial I did it on the green side this time I'm going to do it on the white side because that's what I do now I solve the cross on the white side so what I'm going to do is if you don't know the move note like the cube notation then you should probably watch the video right here it's a link to the video on cube notation standard cube notation so when you find so what you want to do in the first step is to get the cross the cross looks like this, where you have the four edge pieces on the cube. So you want to ignore the corners right now. So you have the four edge pieces on that side. So when you're doing the cross, first I want. So what I want to do is explain the concept first. And the concept is basically so that you, when you line up the pieces, you line them up so that, for example, this one you have the two whites matching up, but you also have the two reds, or blue, orange, or green, in this case, matched up. You want to make sure that they both match up, because an edge piece, as I showed in the cube notation, has two stickers. So you want to line them up between the centers. So, before I move on with this step, I want you to try and do it on your own, because it makes it much easier for you, especially, if you can figure it out on your own. The first case I'm going to show you is a case where you have a piece on the side. When you have a piece on the side, it's really pretty simple, because all you really because if this piece is white and this piece is also white, then all you really need to do to line them up, and you can pretty much figure this out on your own, is rotate that up and it should be lined up both colors but that's only if the two colors are all lined up over here already and we're not going to get into a case where it's not lined up yet so all you have to do is rotate it up another case that you can run into is where it's on the bottom and it's matched up all you need to do for this case is rotate it once the piece just that one piece so that it's on the side and then you rotate it up one more time as if you found it on the side and you have that piece on the top now lined up. Now here comes a case where it's lined up where it's on the side but it's not lined up. Now this is where you need to think a little bit and mainly what you need to do in this case is <coughs> for example if you were just going to move this up carelessly to the white side not even thinking about lining up the blue with the blue center over here. You could do that, but then you're kicking out the green one, and you don't want that. So what you're doing here is you want to, if only you can move this up into a position so that it was matching up with the blue, but that's not possible without moving this piece over here. But you don't want to do that because that takes too long. So a simpler way to do this would be to rotate it up in such a way so that it's like this. You see that this piece is where this blue, blue, and white piece is supposed to be. Right here. So what you want to do is, if only you can replace this with that piece, then when you put it back, this piece would be in the right spot. And there's actually a very simple way to do this. All you have to do is move that piece into a position so that when you, replace, so that when you move this up, you're replacing it. And you might look like you messed up everything else. But just remember, you have to move everything back to realign the blue. And if you've done this correctly, you should line up also the green and the red again. The last case you're pretty much going to run into is where you have a white that's facing the bottom, but it's not matched up with its colors on the center. Now this is also a pretty simple case, and it's actually a lot easier than the one on the side and it's not matched up, because this, this side you can move freely without affecting your cross, or what is your crossing process and all you need to do is just rotate it along the bottom until it matches up with the orange and then rotate it 
up to the side <clears throat> and then you rotate it up to the top and then you have your white cross the next step is to get the corners the white corners which are here so let's start with this one okay so this corner is the white orange and blue corner it's one corner with three stickers on it just like every other corner and this is the white orange and blue to get th so this piece needs to go to the white orange and blue location between white orange and blue center so it needs to go right here now there's a white corner already in here if you look at the top it looks like that piece is solved but if you look at the rest of it it's not now here you're gonna do what I call the elevator move now before you do the elevator move what you need to do is take this piece and rotate it so that's underneath the location that it needs to go and in this case it already is and you do that by moving the down face and do that, that way you don't affect your cross that's already done and in this elevator move you're going to think of this piece as a person and you're going to think of the column where the piece needs to go as the elevator so what you want to do is you don't want to just move the elevator down because then you crush the person what you want to do is you want to move this person out of the way move him out of that entire column if you were to rotate him this way he's still in that column you want to rotate him in such a way so that he's out of the column and then you're going to bring the elevator down so that this person can go into this elevator and then he can go back up and that will put him into the right location if it's under where it needs to go let's take this one for example this is the white orange and green so you want to move the down face underneath the white orange and green centers so that you don't mess up your white cross or any corners that you've already done and you're going to do the elevator move this time from the left perspective you want to move him out of the way and remember not to move him in the same column as the elevator move him out of the way bring the elevator down put the person in the elevator and then bring the elevator back up this makes things much simpler to remember just because you don't have to think of it as an algorithm so there's also so now let's take this piece for example also this is the white green and red corner so you want to get that underneath the white green and red centers over here so what you want to do here is do the same thing person out of the way bring the elevator down move the person in and bring the elevator back the up. problem arises when you have the piece on the bottom when you have the piece on the bottom you can go from the right or the left side doesn't matter I choose the right usually and you rotate this piece down while he's still in the column that way you can swing him around like this using the down face so that you don't affect anything and now he's on the side and then from here you rotate under and do the elevator move